Welcome back to Learning Escape, and this time I'm going to show you how to create a cipher wheel. I've also seen it under the term cipher disk. There are many variations, but you can use this approach to create basically all of them. Let us create a circle first. I'll hold control when I drag that. I'll hold shift to give it a stroke, and I click on the X without holding shift to get rid of the fill. Then I press control D, and I create copies, and I size them down holding shift and control. You can see that I've got the snapping enabled on the right hand side and you also want to have the snap to pass active down here and the two icons down here for the rotation center and the center of objects. Use the bezier tool and now it should snap to the center, go upwards holding control and you can find the path at zero degrees right here Then use the notes tool hold control when you drag this node downwards. Now let's go to edit and use the tile clones menu. We want to have 26 segments. So we need to divide 360 by 26. It's close to 13.8 for the angle. And we want to have 13 because we've got a double line. But let me show you this you have to have this line active and then click on create otherwise it won't work and I believe I've got this one doubled yeah let me delete this so I could have used only 12 rows as I've already had the first one but this is the approach that you have to use go to object fill in stroke we've got it all selected and we use millimeters let me try three or maybe two. That should be fine. So this is the way to create these segments. You can see I've got rulers active. You can press Ctrl R if you don't see them and then drag a guide to the center position. And now I want to rotate the entire object. Let me group it. Ctrl G. I double click on it with the cursor tool. But let me deactivate the snapping and I rotate it. So my guide is somewhat in the center and now I delete it so I hover over it and press the delete key. Now use the type tool. I rotate it. Let me give it a fill, no stroke. So hold shift click on the X to get rid of the stroke. And I click on a black color swatch without holding shift to give it a fill. I'll position the letter right here in my first cell. Now I'll rotate it around the circle and the easiest way should be to use the transform menu but let me first show you this. Under text, text and font you can change the font and style if you want to. For this example I'm just going to use a basic font. When you found something that you like just click on the apply function down here. Now let me go to object transform. I want to use the rotate function up here and we already know our angle which is 13.8. Let me click on it a second time. Now you can see this plus sign. Now we need to drag it to the center of our circles, so our wheel. And now if we apply it, it rotates around it. All we have to do now is to press Ctrl D in between and then apply to create copies and then rotate them 30.8 degrees at a time. Do it until all of your cells are filled. Then I copy this one, press and Ctrl D and I drag it downwards. Don't forget to click on it again and then find this rotation sensor and drag it back onto the ladder and now you can size it down, click on it again and then hold shift and control when you size it down. Again, control D to copy it, 
I'll drag it downwards on the control and then I change it to zero. I hold shift and click on both of these elements, so the A and the zero, and then I group it, press the control G. I click on it again and then I reposition the rotation center, so the plus sign, to the center of our wheel. And now it's the same process, Control D and then apply rotation. Once again, fill it until it's full. So you should have 26 or 26 letters of the alphabet in the outer and the inner circle row. And now you just have to use the type tool and change them. So select them, delete them, type in the new letter. Same goes for the numbers in the second circle row. I'm going to speed this video up here a little bit. And this is it. You can now select it, group it, press Ctrl G and export it. And this so we can create this cipher wheel or cipher disk in Inkscape. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.